What's up, everybody? Yeah. Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, I am bringing to you one of the most coveted insider secrets to maximize fat loss. Now, typically, this technique is used by the more advanced athlete or model getting ready for that photo shoot, the, 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 the half naked, almost fully naked walk down the catwalk, and even Hollywood actors and actresses getting ready for that sizzling sex scene, out of the pool scene, workout scene, fight scene. This is when you have to be as lean as possible to quote the late Matt Porter to get that scraped out look. How do we dramatically reduce body fat in the shortest possible period of time? I'm going to share with you right now. I ask, subscribe to the channel. Bang, bang. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you being out there. Thank you so much for that in advance. Now, when we talk about fat loss, we really need to make sure, number one, our food is on track. Number two, our training is on track. Number three, our rest is on track. Number four, our stress management is on track. Those are the four pillars to your fitness and fat loss foundation. If you're eating crappy food but training hard, you'll get crappy results. If you're eating good food but training hard um, and having shit sleep, you'll get crappy results, right? You get how this goes. Now, I have to assume that everyone who will listen and who will consider this fat loss hack I'm about to share with you, you already have nutrition on point. Maybe you're following our three weeks to shredded program. In fact, if you are following our online version of three weeks to shredded, this fat loss hack is already programmed into your own personalized diet plan. Some of you don't even realize it, but it's already built in there. And once I explain it to you here in a minute or so, you will then completely understand what I'm talking about, why it's in there and everything bang will click together. So what is this fat loss hack? Well, we're eating the right food. We're trading our list in the morning, low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity. We're stimulating um, anabolism through higher intensity resistance training. We're, we're instigating or initiating muscle protein synthesis, trying to build as much lean, healthy muscle tissue as possible. All this matters. All this matters because you can't just use a fat loss hack and think it's going to outwork eating pizza and beer and wings on the weekend, it won't. So you're eating relatively well. You're following our living lean plan. You're following our three weeks of shredded plan. You got your nutrition locked in. You got your training lifestyle locked in. Now, as we move forward, I will actually bring you, and what I'm doing more often lately is I'm bringing you relevant peer-reviewed evidence-based published studies that support the work that we've been doing long before. This study here came out in 2018. And what I love, this study from 2018 perfectly supports what we wrote about in 2007 in our initial offering of Three Weeks to Shredded, the, the first ever 50-page manual. This exact protocol was actually built in the book we wrote 13 years ago, this study came out two years ago. So 11 years before this study came out, we already proved it and shared it with you. That's what I've been doing recently, which I hope you guys appreciate. Some peer-reviewed, evidence-based research supporting what we've been doing for a decade or more. Now, here it is. You know, following, bang, bang, bang. Thumbs up, everybody. Three thumbs up and so many viewers right now. How dare you? I'm giving you like a $5,000 boom secret fat loss hack, or at least give me that thumbs up after I drop the fat loss hack on you. So there's something called EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, epigallocatechin gallate, epigallocatechin gallate. What is that? That is a polyphenol contained within green tea. And there was a very interesting study that broke down the difference between caffeinated green tea and uncaffeinated green tea with regards to overall fat loss. Now, let me read you just a little bit of information here from this study. I'll put it down below in the source material. And what I did, there's, there's a lot of studies out here. And what really my team and I do, we pull the most integral parts of these studies, the actual fact, 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 the fact 
And then we actually share that build programs and such protocols around that. Now, in this, the meta-analysis revealed the importance of caffeine in the weight loss efficacy of green tea. On pooling the six trials in the analysis of green tea catagons with caffeine, we'll call that GTC, as you see from the thumbnail, we had EGC, uh, EGCG plus GTC, which is green tea plus caffeine, right? So it's the EGCG, the epigallocatechin gallate, plus the green tea caffeine and or additional supplemental caffeine. I'll fill that in for you here. Stay with me, ladies and gentlemen. Right? I want to give you some background, some context, because you're all smart individuals, and I want you to understand what I'm saying before I tell you the exact how-to, bang, do-at-home kind of recipe here. So now with that, we will say the meta-analysis revealed the importance of caffeine in the weight loss efficacy of green tea. On pooling the six trials in the analysis of green tea catagons with caffeine compared to green tea catagons without caffeine, known as the caffeine-free control group, the green tea with caffeine ingestion significantly reduced body weight. The two caffeine-free trials showed no statistically significant effect. Why does this matter? Polyphenols are excellent. The EGCG are thought to be currently the most effective cancer-fighting polyphenols known to modern science. Excuse me. The list of health benefits from the EGCG's polyphenols is dramatic. One of the reasons why we have a polyphenol dense allocation inside all of our menu plans, all of our recipes, all of our meal plans, all of our protocols for as many humans as actually tolerate tea, polyphenol containing products, it's in there. Three cups or more per day in a multitude of varieties we share with you. We have smoothies and recipes, but I, I digress. So, the ingestion of the epigallocatechin gallate, the EGCG, plus the caffeine has a significantly higher impact on fat loss, most specific, well, total weight loss, but most specifically fat loss with a minimal negligible impact on lean, healthy, functional muscle tissue. So really, it's just straight oxidation of the fat cell, the usage or, or burning of body fat. And now... Um, one last piece, the EGCG in green tea, um, and the, 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 the theoflavins, the polyphenol metabolites exhibit measurable weight loss properties in a vast majority of studies combined with caffeine has a significantly greater impact of total fat loss. So now off the study. What does this mean to you? What does this mean to me? What does this mean to those who are trying to get that scraped out look? And if you're following our online version of three weeks to shredded at the Dolce diet.com, you have seen this included. Some of you have it in all 21 days. Some of you only get it in, in day 10 or so day 10 to day five, but usually day 10, it kicks in for most. You will see this rotate into your personalized meal plan. You will see three cups of fresh brewed green tea suggested as a part of your meal plan. You will also, this is um, straight caffeine green tea, or, or I should say regular green tea, excuse me, not decaffeinated green tea. We do want the caffeine in there as long as it's well tolerated. We also suggest the ingestion of a black coffee or espresso for a greater amount of caffeine through our studies, whether it, it's through our, our, our you know, research, you know, evidence-based research, or through our practical slash anecdotal experience, we have seen a much greater and measurable loss of stored body fat through a additional increase of supplemental caffeine, usually through a black tea or espresso, though we do have some clients who do not tolerate that well, and they will take some form of, of supplemental caffeine tablet. No problem with that. Now, let's...
let's back this up. Apologies here for a second. Now let's back this up for a second. So you're going through your day, you're doing your thing, you're eating your four to six meals per day. You already watched yesterday's video on adequate protein intake to avoid a protein deficiency. And you were able through my expert tutelage to build the ideal meal plan for you. I told you exactly how many grams of protein you should be consuming, exactly how many grams of fat, exactly how many grams of carbohydrates, in relation to each other, you should be consuming how many meals per day, how many grams of protein per meal, and how to stack them pre and post workout. Yesterday's protein video is a must watch. This is like success, health 101, fat loss 101 is yesterday's video. Today now I'm adding a little bit of expert advanced sprinkle to those of you who are already at the 80, 90% goal attainment level. We call that the A type phase. For those of our clients who are in that A-type phase, this is something to consider. Three cups of fresh brewed green tea. You want it at breakfast. You want it at mid-morning snack. You want it at lunch. You want it earlier in the day, two to three hours apart, ideally. And you want to intersperse a little black coffee or espresso in there for dramatic, dramatic fat loss benefit. Now, when we pair that through Low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity. What is LIS? LIS is, uh, or fasted LIS, I should say, this is dedicated aerobic work at lower general intensities at a medium to higher volume in the absence of insulin. That is the fasted state. Science clearly shows, and I'll do a deeper video on this for you. I've done many before, but maybe a deeper dive with a little more peer-reviewed information to kind of help the pinheads out there. I say that with great respect. The absence of insulin while performing aerobic exercise has shown a much greater efficacy in the body's ability or the fat cell's ability, the more stubborn fat cells ability, what we call the gender specific stubborn fat cells ability to release the stored fat at a more efficient rate on par with the rest of the body. What does this mean, dude? This means your stubborn pockets of body fat, that lower donut, right? The hip fat, back of the triceps, lower nipple area, saddlebags, whatever it might be. We all have these gender specific, as we call them, pockets of body fat that are harder to unlock. Now, there's a bunch of reasons for this. One of the easiest ways to improve the efficiency of that fat cell reduction is simply by performing fasted cardio at low intensities. High intensity interval training and high intensity cardio has its place also, but high intensity cardiovascular activity is a glycolytic activity. Therefore, you're burning primarily stored glycogen expressed as glucose, and you are actually jumping over the body's ability to unlock that stored fat. There will be equal caloric burn. We could talk about the greater prevalence of EPOC excess post-oxygen or post-exercise oxygen consumption. We can talk about that stuff for all of you who understand what I'm saying. Yep, we're well aware of that. We take that now to the next level and we hit that fasted list with the EGCG and caffeine dumped in, allowing for much greater, significantly greater fat loss opportunity while also now cultivating the biochemical environment for the gender-specific stubborn body fat cells, those alpha and beta receptors, to now operate at a more efficient rate to allow the release of the stored energy as fat, right? Does this make sense? Please let it make sense. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about it even more. You can leave questions in the comments after this video post so I can take this down deeper and deeper and deeper. I can go so deep in these rabbit holes with you, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I do. So when we hear the, 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 the calorie in, calorie out crowd or the macro crowd kind of talking, that's a very 30,000 foot foot superficial overview of how this stuff really works. When you're like me and you're wearing this, you know, beat up, tattered black belt in the field 
of nutrition, weight management, and elite world-class performance, you understand that we have a much greater database of information, of research, and of experience to pull from so I can share this information with you who can then consider how this may apply into your everyday life. When I want to get freaking shredded, photo shoot shredded, scraped up, nasty, grainy, step onto a bodybuilding stage, not that I would, but many of our bodybuilding bikini figure competitors, all of our actors and actresses do this. Anyone who has to look their best in our system, this is what they do. It's the three cups of green tea. It's the, it's the two four ounce cups of coffee or the double espresso fit in throughout the day. This is a part of what they do with the list built in. If you are already at that 80 plus percentage, that, that A type phase, if you're already in that A type phase, the benefits you will see from something like this is dramatic. Now, I will say, and as alluded to in this study, um, and the name of the study, I don't know if it mentions it, it's, it, it's a review on weight loss effects of oxidized T polyphenols. This is where we took most of the information from. But inside this, what you must know is there is a desensitization factor that will be built in more likely due to caffeine desensitize, um, being desensitized or our, our receptors being desensitized to the effects of caffeine, making it necessary to drink more and more and more caffeine, which has a counterproductive benefit. That's why we suggest this type of phase, the green tea plus caffeine phase, Having a three to eight week window, depending on what your overall goals are. It's, I mean, you can drink green tea year round. We certainly do. And we certainly suggest that three cups of green tea per day. That does feel a little excessive. We switch it off. We'll have green tea. We'll have black tea. We'll have oolong tea. Um, we'll, we'll have maca. We'll have, you know, chamomile. We'll have a, a wide variety of teas that, that mix in throughout our day. When we're trying to get this scraped out fat loss perspective, we will run typically three to six week phases with equal time off to resensitize the receptors to receive the, the higher um, efficiency of the caffeine. Primarily, it seems the caffeine ingestion. Now, I'm about to answer questions. What I ask for you is bang, bang, bang. Give this video a thumbs up, guys and gals. That's all I ask you. It Let's the YouTube overlords know that you're engaged with this channel. Hopefully it helps us pr them promote this channel a little bit more. Um, and it, it really just show that you guys really care about this content. I can see the thumbs up so I can tell when you're actually engaging or not. And a couple people are, but not a lot of people. This information is fire, my friends. This is fire, this information. As long as tea and coffee and caffeine are well tolerated by you, the effects that you will see are, are pretty dang dramatic. Now, let me jump in here and answer some questions for you, my friends. Sal Serio says, what's up, Mike? F you, F you. Uh, Mr. Russ, what's up, coach? Watching this while making my lunch on day 53 of the 12-week program. Mr. Russ is crushing the 12-week living lean and three weeks to shredded bundle at thedolcediet.com. You can jump in right now and save 20% with promo code anti dad bod all one word save 20 percent on the number one weight loss program on the internet at the dolce diet.com produced by tony says my guy mike thanks for everything man tony i'm here for you my man trying to get you guys lean and fit and healthy and just spectacular jonathan trigg says dolce live two days in a row what a treat i appreciate it, jonathan thank you frank wells Pro debut in three weeks, hitting that list three to four days a week. Boom. My man, Frank Wells. Thank you. I appreciate that. Stevie M. Thanks, brother. Great stuff again. Stevie M. Thank you so much with the $5. It looks like a five pound super chat donation right there. Guys and gals, we appreciate those super chat donations. It means a lot. So thank you for that kind gesture. Um, F you, Anthony. Anthony says, F you, coach. Here's a thumbs up. Bang. I appreciate that, Anthony. Thank you so much, my man. The thumbs up. It, the thumbs up, guys and gals, really helps this channel. It lets YouTube know that you're engaged with this content. And, um, you know, they're supposed to push it out there to other people just like us, cool, awesome people in the community. And hopefully it helps us uh, grow this channel. 
Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers. We've been kind of middling around in the 20, the 30, now the 40, and I'm super honored for every single one. But my goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers, to change 100,000 lives. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Give us a chance. Let me know how it goes. And try and recommend this channel elsewhere. So we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers here. And I appreciate you guys for being a part of this channel. I will always be here. One subscriber or a million subscribers, I'm still going to be here doing exactly what I'm doing for you guys. Um. Joe Bloggs, is green tea from tea bags okay? It's really bothersome to brew from the leaves, and I have lived in China and Japan. Joe Bloggs, yes, the green tea, most of the organic green tea in bags is excellent. Do not worry about that. That is what we would determine fresh brewed green tea. Although, like you, we do have the loose leaf teas in our house also. That's more of an experience. That's like whipping out the fancy China. Um, Jonathan Trigg, Frank Wells from UB. Good luck on the debut, man. Um, well, let me see. Oh, Frank Wells says, been meaning to ask, does it matter if you space out the green tea versus having it back to back as far as the fat oxid oxidation thermodynamics? So Frank, we do want to leave a little bit of time. We want to spread that out through the day. We say every two to three hours, that's going to give you a good six to nine hours or so of having the benefit of the EGCG and the additional caffeine dripped in. This will be speeding up your metabolism to a degree. It will enhance thermodynamics, your body's ability to run at a higher rate to burn more body fat. Um, what we've seen is having that even spread dripped in your body. And some of this is anecdotal for sure, because I could point to studies and argue with myself. We have seen the greatest effect of those who have the green tea with breakfast, snack, and lunch, and then shut it down. Because we've seen past lunch, that type of extra stimulation has had a negative impact on the ability to fall asleep on time. So we're really trying to shut our caffeine down by about two o'clock or so at the latest. And that's assuming we're having that green tea somewhere between six and 8 a.m. Um, Joe Bloggs answered that. Jonathan Trigg, yep. Ryan, the eyes, all this content you have been dropping is the best and most informative stuff out there in the fitness industry lately. No BS and it's free. Tremendous. Ryan, brother, I really, really appreciate that, man. I'm going to screenshot that because that, comment right there really does mean a lot. Um, I think you guys know and can tell, hopefully I'm dropping fire every day, every day. I am dropping high level, elite level, Olympic training center level, world-class level, PhD level in the lab level content for you guys. This is literally coming from the world-class level. I am a world-class coach of world champion athletes. I'm not just some YouTuber who preps amateur athletes for physique competition. No disrespect. That is great. That's like a purple belt. I am a black belt. And I say that with all humility. I am one of the most respected nutrition and weight management black belts in the industry, in history, currently walking the globe. You walk on any continent, you ask them about me, they'll be like, dude gets results. Whether they agree or not, I don't care if they agree with what I say, that's fine. Dude gets results. Team gets results. Nobody can argue this fact, and I'm sharing this. I'm sharing this with them too. I hope all my friends, all my peers, all my competitors listen to this, subscribe to this, right? Give us that subscri subscription, get us up to a hundred thousand. Um, because this is, this will just simply help the, 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 the client, the, the consumer, the athlete, the base, the patient. Um, Sal says, what brand of green tea do you recommend? Bang, bang, like the post. I appreciate that. Like the post. Um, I really, we just look for, you know, non-GMO, organic, um, fair trade certified. You know, we look for all the traditional stamps and, and quality assurances, but, but essentially green tea is green tea. And most green tea really comes from the same two or three, um, 
locations, companies, it all kind of eventually goes back to the same basic source, depending on what continent you're on. Um, Sears Shree says, hey, coach, does the Living Lean plus three weeks to shredded bundle come with a coaching consult? I've tried to have a few questions clarified through tech support, but to no avail. What can I do if I have a few questions about the program? So Shree V, that, that really becomes a challenge because we do get some people who contact our technical support and client services team with very high level questions that would be more beneficial answered by myself or one of our registered dietitians. Right, That becomes a bit of a challenge in our tech support and our client support. They're certainly happy to help you kind of mold the program to your lifestyle, but they cannot and aren't licensed nor qualified to really go down, deep down that rabbit hole into contest prep, if you will. These are client service members and customer support agents, right? So I am always available. And if you wanted right now, you can actually work with me one-on-one -on -one through my own individual one-on-one -on -one consultation at dolcedietshop.com. This is $100 compared to my normal rate of $350. I'm booked out all year at $350 for these one-on-one -on -one consults because it is worth it. When the coronavirus and the pandemic and the stay-at-home orders hit, when people were furloughed from work, when they lost their job, when they went on unemployment, I dropped my rates from $350 down to $100. Less than 30% of my normal rate is what I started charging to help as many people as possible. And I've continued to do that because I feel it's the right thing to do and I want to be accessible to you. So that is there for you. That is, if you want to have that time where we get down and dirty into your life, your background, your diet, your exercise, your supplements, your sleep, whatever it might be. Some business owners come in. We do lots of mentorship and entrepreneur conversations, building businesses, brands, and whatever else. You get me for 35 minutes and I have you fill out a questionnaire to really um, direct the conversation. So I come into this well-prepared, ready to go, and we have a robust conversation and then we do have follow-up communication. That's all at DolceDietShop.com. For any of you who want that personal conversation, how do we dial it in? How do we peek it out? How do you get off the last 10 pounds finally? Maybe just how do you start how do you start? You haven't even thought about it. You're, you're scared to get back in the gym, whatever it might be. I walk that journey with you. And I think you guys can tell, man, I'm in it, right? I am, I am in it to win it with you. I'm in it for you to win it. That's really what my job is here. Ali says, when you say green tea, do you mean maca tea? Uh, we mean any version of the green tea. Matcha is great. Maca is great. Green tea, a traditional green tea is great. We speak more traditionally on the traditional um, commercially available green tea. The eighth Hokage says, I just started the online version of three weeks to shred it. Boom. I'm super excited for you how to lose 21 pounds in 21 days as long as you have the weight to come off. So the eighth package, please keep me updated on your results. I am always here to help you. Tag me on Instagram, shoot me a DM, whatever I can do. I don't think Elon Musk is giving you tutorials and tips on, on how to set up the uh, um, automated driving in, in that new Model 3. But Uncle Mike, the owner of my company, uh, is here to help you as much as possible. Um, Shrevi, if I'm not doing the, if I am doing the three weeks of shredded online, should I ramp up the duration of cardio each week or keep it constant? Well, we always talk about scalability and if you're hitting cardio, let's say week one is 30 minutes. Week two, I do 35 to 40 week three. I do 45 to 50. I like to scale once I get to about 60 minutes. And this is what I do when I get to about 60 minutes in my list. Then I try to walk a little farther, a little faster in the same period of time. So we can always manage our level of intensity based upon time, based upon distance. Um, you know, we can add resistance. That's a, that's a whole nother part of the equation. John Trigg, what about the effects of green tea while fasted versus fed? The fasted I discussed earlier as a part of list, right? So when we speak about fasted cardio or fasted list, fasted simply means the lack of insulin, right? We want to reduce 
to mute the insulin response, which is why fasted low intense um, intensity, uh, steady state cardiovascular activity has such a dramatic impact on the, 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 the efficient um, use of that gender specific stubborn um, fat cell, you know, and, and it really has to do with those alpha and beta receptors work less efficiently in the presence of insulin work much more efficiently in the absence of insulin. So, and what really they're, they're, they're sluggish, right? They're always in last place picture, you know, your fourth grade class and you always have the group of kids that always win the race. You always have the group of kids that always kind of come in last place for whatever reason. Those kids in last place will do considerably better. They'll run as fast as the middle of the pack, the normal, to even the advanced members in the pack in the absence of insulin at lower intensities over longer periods of time. This has been shown. This has been proven. This is, is irrefutable. I mean, this is just known to those of us who know this. We know this is the way it works Whence, once we cultivate this environment. So that being said, we work with the body. When we say hack, we use the term hack simply meaning we work with the body. We don't trick the body. We cannot trick the body, our opinion. We don't trick the body. We work with the body. Um, ripped Jesus. I like that one. The legend. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying, Jesus. Um, Jawaria. Does it matter if the green tea is flavored? Great question. Usually, yes, it does matter because most flavored green tea has an array of, of artificial or calorie dense ingredients added to it. Many of the flavoring have some sort of sugar and or fat um, added to it. And that bang typically will equate to an insulin response, which then um, knocks us out of the fasted list intention. Stevie M, once again, my man, thank you for the five pound super chat donation. Very cool of you, brother. It is noted. Um, Kubrat says, how can I achieve a state similar to fasting as a type one diabetic since I always have insulin in my body? Kubrat, that is a great question. And unfortunately, one that I am reluctant or hesitant to share publicly. Um, although I do know the answer and have a pretty good strategy to this, I, I, it would not be appropriate of me to share such information, understanding number one, that you are a type one diabetic, or there might be other individuals who do have blood sugar issues out there who might hear something along these lines. Mind you, this is for ed entertainment purposes only. Everyone do not listen to anything I say here. Take all this information, bring it to your doctor, speak to your doctor about it, and you determine with your doctor what is right for you. But Kubrat, I do not believe in, in putting information out there without having a, a, a qualified conversation with you as an individual going through an entire intake process, learning about you, your background, your medical history. And as a type one diabetic, I would have you work with one of our licensed registered dietitians just to ensure the highest possible quality of service, which you deserve, my friend. So I'm not avoiding your question. I'm giving you the correct answer is we would really want you to work with a registered dietitian to drill down down much deeper and ensure any suggestion was right for you and for your health. It doesn't have to be one of our registered dietitians, though we think ours are the best. It can be any registered dietitian in conjunction with your uh, primary care physician. Will Rodriguez, I love you, Mike. Uh, you changed my life. I know your principles are too logical and common sense for most people to accept, but hopefully they will. Will, I appreciate that, my friend. I actually just screenshot that too. That is very kind of you. That is very nice. And uh, we're working hard for you guys over here. We want to bring you the most honest, the most actionable, the most evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life. And I respect your intelligence and your ability to choose and decide. Also, I believe you guys have a great dirt bag meter. You can tell the people out there with the fancy cameras and, and, and the wind straw abs um, giving you all the BS information, trying to get you to believe in something that certainly doesn't work simply because they are trying to make a car payment, right? It's not what we do here. Gino says, double thumbs up for you, Mr. Dolce. Gino, bang, 
Bang. I appreciate that, Gino. That means a lot. And guys and gals, those here on the channel, a thumbs up really means a lot. The YouTube overlords will actually pay a little more attention and maybe start to recommend our channel a little bit more. But personally, it lets me know that you guys care about the content um, and that you're engaged with the content. You kind of like uh, what we're doing here. So it, it's great feedback for me. So I appreciate you guys. Frank Wells, yes, sir. October 29th on UFC Fight Pass. Frank Trigg about to make it happen. Turn and pro, baby. You've been a pro a long time, though, my man. Mr. Russ, what's the best way to help a female client build up their upper body strength and convince them that they need to eat more nutrient-dense foods? Russ, that is a great question, and that is challenging in a certain way because we need to help this individual overcome some sort of bias that they, they have developed throughout the years. Many women think that training with weights will make them look like a man. Many women that think eating nutrient-dense foods will make them fat. Therefore, they think they need to be doing more cardio, non-resistance-based exercise, primarily cardio, which effectively doesn't help build the physique they're looking for. And oftentimes, they create a calorie deficit and a net nutrient deficit which leads to the reduction of lean, healthy, curvy muscle tissue and the accumulation of body fat. So what happens? They get skinny fat. They get soft. Beep. Not a good look. <laughs> One thing you might say is, hey, like, listen, friend, you know, lady friend. Let, I really want to help you achieve your goals. If you could send me, show me three different female body types that you really aspire to look like model, actor, actress, neighbor, family member, whomever it might be. Most of the time they pick weight trained, famous people. Oh man. I really want to look like Halle Berry, right? I, I want to look like uh, Jennifer Beals. Whoever it might, whoever it might be, and those are just ladies who I, I know and I know their fitness routines, right? I know that they are weight trained, resistance trained individuals. With that, it opens the door to be like, hey, did you know that Halle Berry like deadlifts? She does these kettlebell circuits at her house. Here's one of I would actually use that as my entry into slowly eliminate, I'd say challenging, but eliminating her bias. So that might be one way to look at it. Russ. Omar, what's up, coach? Thanks for the inspiration and consistent content. We'll catch the replay later. Thumbs up, Omar. And Omar says, thumbs up, everyone. I appreciate that, Omar. Thank you. Uh, those of you who are just popping in, appreciate you. The first 10 minutes of this video, you must watch where I break down exactly what this fat loss hack will be. Now, you need a, the few minutes because I need to paint the picture for you of exactly how to do this. But you listen to the first two, three minutes or so, I drop the exact fat loss hack, which is, is going to blow your mind. The effectiveness is, is in, um, contestable, irrefutable and, uh, man, it'll really change your body. So I appreciate you guys being here, but stick on. Cause I got a, a bunch more questions to answer for you. Jonathan Viteri says, would you share your thoughts about le lecithin, choline, inositol, um, when used and when to use them before or after carbs, how often, that would be great. Jonathan, what would be the point, my friend? What would be the point? So this actually, now we can have a conversation, but I, I need you to give me a little bit more context because I can go about seven different ways with the combinations that you said here. Um, also berberine and, and really what is your stated goal with this? And we can kind of break that down maybe. Um, Ripped Jesus says, discovered you back in 2010. You changed my life since. Ripped Jesus, I really appreciate you, my friend. I'm screenshotting that. That means a lot to me. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to help everyone live better lives, right? That is the goal. So welcome. And, and I mean, thank you for being here. Ten years later, you're still a part of the community. And that, that means a lot that, that I've earned um, your respect that you, you spend the time here. So again, thank you. Big Papa says, F you, Uncle Mike. I'm doing a weightlifting program for my boxing coach. 
with exercises like squats, front squats, snatches, cleans, jerks, and so on. What can I do to get bigger and stronger? Squat, deadlift, bent over row, dip, overhead press, underhand chin up, some walking lunges, six to 12 repetitions, ideally about eight repetitions, three sets of eights is going to really go a long way. Um, Maybe I do, I do three weeks at, at a three by eight and three weeks at a four by five, somewhere around there. And, uh, and then just cycle back, maybe change out the exercise barbell, low bar back squat, um, to a, a, a Smith, Smith bar, um, 12 inch box squat, um, you know, a conventional deadlift to, uh, a, a good morning or a Zercher. Good morning. I've been hitting a lot of those lately. Super simple, my friend, I think. Ali says, Coach, is it possible to get a diet from you on how to eat post-weigh-in? I'm a pro TKD athlete and love your videos. It is gold. Well, Ali, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, you can feel free to contact me on Instagram to, to answer a little bit more about what you're looking for specifically, but we do build multi-week programs, eight week programs. And I think right now we actually kept our eight week personalized, my diet programs, half price, considering what happened during the pandemic, we dropped our prices in half. I believe they're still half price right now at dolcedietshop.com where you will work directly with me and one of our registered dietitians to build you the most perfect eight-week program for your lifestyle, for your background, for your health, and so on. That would probably be the best way to do it. And right now, it's literally half price. Um I don't know of a better deal <laughs> truly for, for that. So, and Ali, I'd I love to work with you. Um, Parsa says, what's up, Coach Mike? Two weeks ago, I had a super hard wrestling session. Right after the session, my back hurt like crazy. And since then, almost every grappling session, it hurt. Any tips to get good? Yes. Go to your doctor, Parsa. Go to your doctor and get a diagnosis. Understand exactly what's going on. It could be something super simple or something very serious. Any injury you have, my friends, please go to your doctor and get it checked out. Get it diagnosed. Work with your doctor. I am one of the biggest advocates of having an amazing relationship with your doctor. Your doctor should get sick of you. The phone calls, the text messages, the emails, the visits. But really, you want, anytime you have any sort of mechanical issue, go to your doctor and get it looked at to ensure you're not doing further damage, but to also get you back to full health as soon as possible. Kubrat says, it's all right, Dolce. Amazing channel. I appreciate that, Kubrat. Thank you. Ryan Dawson, no pills, no powders, no potions. Amen, my friend. Tu padre. Hello, coach. Is it true that drinking beet juice or eating boiled beets before practice enhances your performance? It certainly can. I, I do. Um, ha I have personally seen great benefit in that of my athletes, and there's great data to support that, likely due to not nitric oxide production. Um, Shrevi says, how close are the Kindle and online versions of three weeks to shredded? Can I combine the two? For example, vitamin C supplementation, supplementation throughout the day that's in the book, but not online. Some of the online programs have vitamin C, dandelion, uva ursi. Some do not. It all kind of ebbs and flows based upon you, your background, your training history, your goals, what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so it, it, sure, you can certainly do whatever you want to do. Vitamin C has very few, if any, negative side effects. I must say, please consult with your doctor. Jonathan says, yes, it does. 90 minutes prior, I would actually eat half of one medium-sized beet raw or the whole small one. That sounds great. Jesse Lee, what's up, Jesse? Good to see you, brother. Listening while working. Love the merch and textbook I got yesterday. Yes, Jesse, thank you. Jesse Lee is one of our newest Dolce Diet certified coaches. He just got the, the post um, certification care package uh, that we send out to all of our coaches. So many blessings to you, Jesse, and super excited for you to be our next fitness millionaire, brother. Let's get it now. Time to get to work, homie. Um, 153.8 this morning, going to 135 on the 29th, making it happen while eating about seven meals a day and two gallons of water. 
in that lean Aztec warrior body, fully prepared for war. Hell yeah, Jesse Lee. I love that, my friend. Pumped up. Pumped up, brother. Um, John Vittori, let's call it told to process your nutrients out of the liver and to process fat so it doesn't sit in the body, but rather uses energy. Berberine in terms of metabolizing sugar. I'm not mad at that, Jonathan, but at the same time, I do not see great application for the masses with that, meaning I do not think that protocol has a necessarily has a net positive effect on the average human who's eating a healthful whole food diet um, without the inclusion of synthetic toxic chemicals and living a relatively healthy lifestyle, sleep, stress management, regular exercise and such. I'm not saying it does not work. What I'm saying is that the amount of effort that goes into that with the amount of net return will be likely, likely negligible. But to be fair, I have not personally tried this nor run an experiment in here with our team, which is something we, we would do in order to truly vet that. Parsa says, thanks for the answer, Mike. Parsa, you got it. Shree V says, what do you think about Charles Poliquin's recommendations on supplements? One to three grams of fish oil, 10 grams of glutamine, any anecdotal evidence that you can provide? Whew. Now, let me take a sip here because this is a loaded question. Charles Poliquin, the late Charles Poliquin, may he rest in peace. Charles Poliquin's footprint on the fitness and sports performance industry is massive. Poliquin was one of the godfathers of modern sports science. Now... Through the years, Charles Poliquin monetized the great success of his name in a variety of ways. Now, this is all in my opinion here. So I'm going to give you a little op-ed on Charles Poliquin. Charles Poliquin offered a great body of work for us coaches who came after him to analyze, to review, to test. He really did give us a leg up in education, through his own experience. But his name became rather large. And with that large name came, in my opinion, the lure of monetization. And as such, there were many funnels built off Charles's name to generate income. One of these funnels that I'm speaking about directly was his supplement funnel. In Charles Poliquin's name, not knowing how much impact he had, it could have been a simple licensing deal. Maybe he ran it directly as the formulator or something in between. But the amount of supplements being pushed and recommended by the name Charles Poliquin, whether or not he, the human, actually ever did, became ridiculous. And it became even more ridiculous in that there became a, a very specific style of body fat testing and skin fold pinch points that the name Charles Poliquin asserted were the result of certain metabolic or physiological deficiencies to which you then must or should take a variety of the exact supplements that he was producing. Now, I had personal experience with this when I created UFC Fit and part of our blind trial before we went to market was to run multiple groups of, of individuals of trainees in Southern California. And each of these trainees were analyzed by Charles Poliquin certified body fat specialists. And each of these individuals would go and do the Charles Poliquin body fat skin fold caliper test to determine the body fat percentage of 
members in our testimonial group. This is important, so stick with me. Now, when this happened, I was suspicious because I understand the massive inconsistencies with skinfold calipers and in watching the way the individuals were conducting the tests and having a five minute conversation was was four and a half minutes longer than I needed to understand the individuals certified to conduct the tests were not as experienced as I would have wanted them to be. And what we found the testing that these certified Charles Poliquin body fat testing specialists performed were so inconsistent top to bottom, but each one of them was empowered to try and sell a line of Charles Poliquin supplements based upon their body fat analysis. So to answer your question here, and I do so with the greatest respect of Charles, and I don't know that he personally had anything to do with this. It literally could have been a licensing deal by someone who used his name to sell supplements, and maybe he got a kickback. I don't know. But in my opinion, his name was used as a ruse to simply push product into the population for money. So now to answer this question, what do I think of his recommendations on supplements? I have to give that story to say I would be very wary. I would be very wary of anything with Charles's name relating to supplement recommendations because it might be a, a marketing script. While also saying Charles Poliquin, in his own right, is one of the greatest minds in modern sports science. And he has the resume, had the resume again. He is, de is deceased now. He had the resume to back that up. So it's very hard to say. Now, one to three grams of fish oils? Sure, great. 10 grams of glutamine? Okay, probably, depending, but maybe. What else is in there? I'm not sure. So I hope that helps. I think that's a little good, fun story time with Uncle Mike. Um, asked Dr. Murphy, I've been eating too much chocolate lately. I've been naughty. Well, shame on you, Dr. Murphy. But what we do is we'll have a one inch square of 73% or greater organic dark chocolate. That's great little snack to have at night with a little almond butter and an apple kills the chocolate crave. And hopefully you will have a little more discipline throughout the day, knowing you get that little, um, bit of chocolate later on that night. Uh, Mr. Russ, will the Dolce Diet hoodies be making a comeback this year? That is a great, great question. So anyone listening, if you are interested in a Dolce Diet hoodie, and our hoodies were fucking sweet, high-end, high-end, fleece line, super cool, comfortable, very form-fitting. It definitely made you look like 40% more buff. Um, if anybody's interested... In the comments, after this video posts, just like a, a very informal poll, leave a comment below that you want a hoodie, right? So those of you who've stayed this long into the video, um, if, if you want a hoodie, if you're curious about a hoodie, if you might be interested, just even if you might be interested in a hoodie, I'll then speak with our designer. We'll get a few designs and I'll probably actually let you guys vote. That'd be actually pretty cool. I'd let you guys vote on, on the hoodie that you want. Um, Cause I still have like a Russ, I still got like a closet full of, of unworn hoodies. So I don't need any this season, uh, but we, they would be cool to produce a couple more for you guys. Um, Nora, what's up, Nora? Hey coach. I love your videos. How do you reset your body after it has been in starvation mode? I can't lose weight. Also, I train two times a day and in a calorie deficit. Nora, great question. Number one, I will strongly suggest you be under a doctor's care, not try this or any dietary information without speaking to your doctor, right? Got to put that out there. Now, in general, those who are living in a calorie deficit and training two times per day for extended periods of time, you are likely breaking your body down in an unhealthy manner. I personally would most likely strongly suggest you tone back some of your training, not stop. We will keep you training, but I would become very specific and very targeted with the time and the intensity and the type of training that you're doing. 
while also reverse dieting you back up and slowly increasing your healthy net nutrient calorie dense foods into your life. We typically run through a four week health and habit phase, we call it, where we infuse your body with the highest possible net nutrients to ensure you have everything you need and we look to eradicate any sort of deficiency. In that, we finally achieve that state of healthy balance. Once we have you healthy again, we can then start to focus on manipulating the macronutrients to start bringing down some of the extra energy, which is body fat, right? We can start bringing down some of that stored body fat while managing and hopefully increasing some of that lean body tissue, the muscle, the shape, the curve, the athletic performance. Our goal should always be improved body composition, not just weight loss. Weight loss oftentimes results in a dramatic amount of muscle loss and people will lose weight while gaining body fat. That's not what we want. I would look more for your body, body, total body weight to stay stable and we start to reduce body fat percentage and possibly have a net increase of lean, healthy, functional muscle tissue. Awesome. Now, um, that would be my strong recommendation for you, Nora. You might want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with myself or with one of our registered dietitians. Our lead dietitian, Miss Lindsay Howard, has her Master of Science degree. She is also a certified strength and conditioning specialist. She is a registered dietitian, and she is also a college professor. I would most likely have you sit with, you know, myself. I'm always happy. I would love to. But Lindsay is, is absolutely amazing and can speak from a female perspective. Many of our, our women love to speak with our female dietitians to get a little deeper here. Um, you can go to dolcedietshop.com, Nora. If, if you are interested, of course, I'm not pushing this. I'm just sharing this as an amazing value benefit for you who seem you're already doing so much. You're working your tail off, it sounds like. You might have a little bit of bad information, misinformation, or you simply might need a, a caring individual to really take a look outside look at what you're doing and, and give perspective. We all need that sometime. We need experienced individuals with integrity to sometimes give us a, a good look into what we're doing. And sometimes we can't quite see things. So that would be my suggestion uh, to you, Nora. I hope it helps. Please feel free to ask any follow-ups. Um, JS says, hey, coach, do you include power speed training in your workout regimen? If so, how is it included? Well, yes, we do. Power, yes, we do. Speed, yes, we do. And it really depends on the athlete. Are they a, a, a field athlete? Are they a combat athlete? Are they a strength athlete? Are they a uh, an aesthetic um, athlete, you know, bodybuilding and bikini and such? Um, are they uh, an endurance, an ultra athlete? We work with a ton of different athletes, right? So we really have to understand what their skill set is. And then we can program based upon the skill set. But most of the time, we're looking for skill specific improvements. We can, you know, we work in the gym and we will, you know, bar velocity and speed and things like that. Um, but a lot of times we're really looking to apply that to their, their given sport. Um, Slaya says, started following you for the solid dieting advice a while ago. Just realized you're a fighter, been training in, um, been training in dieting for a while and kind of thought about learning a martial art. Now, I don't want to show up as a complete noob, been in street fights before, but I want the discipline from it. Would you practice at home to learn the basics? I have a lot of free time, usually spend it working on my business or reading literature of value, but could definitely see myself practicing basic moves on a bag for a couple hours a day. What is your take on this or any um, of you other guys reading this? So Slaya, that's actually a really great question. And, and thank you for that. My strong recommendation would be for you to check out Bang Muay Thai. Bang Muay Thai, Bang Muay Thai, Bang Muay Thai. Bang Muay Thai is now an in-home 
training curriculum to take you from entry level novice, likely where you are right now. And we all start somewhere, right? And teach you all the way through the legitimate belt system, the Dwayne Bang Ludwig Bang Muay Thai Boss Rutan inspired Muay Thai striking system specifically for mixed martial arts athletes, which is amazing. Dwayne Bang Ludwig is a that is so complete and so effective. So I would suggest that. Um, Srivi, my next goal to earn that consult with you, mission, do three weeks of shredded and 80 plus on my next med school test, October 23rd. One goal at a time, coach, please keep that mindset videos rolling. Done deal. Done deal. I appreciate that. I will see you soon, my friend. I can't wait. Keep it up. Keep crushing. Ali says, coach, you made a video about what a drink post-workout or post-weigh-in, coconut water, sea salt, etc. Am I supposed to put it all the ingredients in a gallon or eight ounce bottle of water? Well, that all goes into a gallon. I'm pretty sure, right? You can tell the bigger the version is for the gallon. I don't think I put the eight ounce. No. So you put it into the gallon, you shake up the gallon, and then you pour that into your eight or 16, eight, 12, 16 ounce servings, depending on body size. Um, Anthony Cruz says, Tom DeLauer just dropped a video talking about how fructose from fruit is the worst carb for your body. Can you debunk it in the next video? I can. <laughs> I'll take a look at it. Poor Tom. Um, Tom DeLauer is just a great YouTuber, right? Great, great, great at monetizing YouTube, but his nutrition information is, is not. It's like less than a white belt. Whatever. It's like an invisible belt we'll have to call Tom. Shrevi, can you run us through the water log on the online version? Is one cup eight ounces? Yes. And the H2 recommendation is the same as the Kindle version. One gallon at the beginning. Well, your water is relative to you. So you create how many units and the unit is relative to you as an individual. So me personally, I drink one and a half gallons per day, approximately six liters. Someone else might drink approximately one gallon per day or four liters. As we go through the three weeks of shredded program, we do the last five days, we slowly increase consumption before we cut it in half. And that's based upon your individual intake. Producer Dan, what's up from Vancouver? Um, your last Twitter pick, you look like the best you've ever looked, Dan. I really do appreciate that. I do believe right now I am nearing my best ever shape and condition. I said I've been leaner before, but not much. I've been bigger before, but not much. I've never been as big and as lean as I am right now. And that's something special. And uh, I really just have my life dialed in. It's funny that no matter how good you think, like when I did UFC Fit in 2014 or so, right? Go look at my UFC Fit. Man, I, I look great. I felt great. Great, 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 great. A year later, when I shot the cover of three weeks to shred it, I looked even better. It felt even better. Like there's multiple times in my career where I, I, I looked and felt great. I got to say right now, I feel like I'm at my best, which makes sense because I'm the most experienced now I've ever been. We should always be at our best. And that's kind of what I'm, I'm really thinking and leaning on right now. We really should always be at our best because I have more data. I simply have more data to pull from at this point. But I, I, you know, Dan, I really do appreciate that. Thank you for noticing. Um, and I'm, I'm working hard, right? I'm, I'm really working hard. I'm doing this in many ways for you guys. So you understand that at over 40 years old, believe it or not, I know I look like a 24 year old at over 40 years old. Now I am in the best shape of my life and I'm, I'm out grinding. I am out working. I'm out competing. A lot of these 25 year old college kids. Like I, I run them into the ground energy for days and they don't have two toddlers in the house like I do. Right. You know, they're not doing all the the, the daddy daycare and, and school trips and drop offs and, and late night book reading and and wiping boogers and all the other stuff. Um, so for whatever that's worth, anyone who's interested, what we do works. I walk the walk. I walk the walk. Um, so thanks, Dan. Zach, see, what's your take on. The <laughs> Zach C is awesome, bro. Thank you for the laugh. Out of the gate. First sentence, right? First nine words. You got me laughing. What's your take on the D-bag liberal California governor Gavin Newsom's rule that you have to wear a mask after each bite 
while eating. Gavin Newsom is an idiot. He's an idiot. Gavin Newsom is a political hack, and I am not political, right? I am not political. All politicians are trying to screw you, right? Fair enough. We can we agree on that? Don't don't be a a a, a conservative, a liberal, or a whatever lib or whatever the hell else, libertarian, whatever else you might be. Man, I am a citizen of this country, and I can just point out douchebaggery. And I see what Gavin Newsom's doing out there is ridiculous. It's freaking ridiculous. What Cuomo's doing up in New York. I'm in New Jersey. What Cuomo's doing up in New York. It's all politics, man. This is all national level politics being played out in individual states. And the residents of these states are simply the pawns on the board being traded. You are being traded by the national politicians that all have agendas. That's really what it comes down to. And Gavin Newsom is, is he's wait, he's Nancy Pelosi's stepson or son-in-law or, or nephew, something along those lines. You look at the nepotism and how, how deep these lines run. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But this happens on all sides, my friends. So don't get all political on me. They're all trying to screw you over. Elijah, F you, Mike. Glad to see you. Awesome work. Thanks, Elijah. I appreciate you. Stevie M, hoodie would be great. Thanks, Stevie. Um, JS, we ever going to see Dr. Andy Galpin, Galpin interviewed over here. Subject matter doesn't matter. I know gold would come. Yeah. we uh, Go check out the Mike Dolce Show podcast on iTunes. You clearly don't subscribe. Go subscribe to the Mike Dolce Show podcast. We have like 310, 12, 15 episodes out. A few episodes ago, I had Dr. Andy Galpin on. I had Dr. Andy Galpin on. I had Tony Ricci on. I had Dr. Corey Peacock on. Um, who else do we have on? I had Tyler Mitten on. I had Phil DeRue on. I had Eric and Juan Leha of On It On. Um, who else? I got Barry Gibson coming up soon. Um, I have Mike Robertson coming up, a correctional or functional fitness coach. Um, who else? I got a, quite a few more. So go to the Mike Dolce Show audio podcast on iTunes. It is fire, baby. It is fire. Speaking of fire, bang, bang. Give this video a thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you. Those thumbs up help. They matter. They keep the YouTube overlords happy. And hopefully they will recommend this video to other amazing, like-minded individuals as you and I are. My goal here is to finally get this channel to start growing. We've been middling 20,000, 30,000, 42,000 some odd subscribers. That is awesome. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I want to hit 100,000. I want to hit 100,000 on this channel and only you guys can help us get there. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, leave some comments below for the algorithm and let's get this thing going. Um, a lot of questions here. This is crazy. I mean, I'm an hour and 10 minutes right now, guys, into this live free Q and a, just so you know. And the first 10 minutes is where I drop that white, hot fire, that lean, sexy, scraped out, thin skin, dick skin, thin body fat levels with the advanced fat loss hack I dropped on you. Um, Anthony says, coach, do you use kettlebells? Do you use them for conditioning or do you um, bang out heavy reps with them? Um, I mostly use them more for conditioning type of work. I'm too strong to be honest with you in many ways uh, to do heavy reps with them. I row with the 150s, 180s, 200s for a couple reps, bent over single uh, dumbbell rows. Um, what else do I, you can't really I mean, you can do some overhead presses with the kettlebells, but it's a little less efficient, you know, you know, clean and presses with the KBs works good. I do lots of, um, of, 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 you know, kettlebell swings and such. I love kettlebells more for functional fitness work to help me keep my athleticism, but I'm a, I'm a 600 plus pound deadlifter. I'm, I'm a three, 400 pound bent over barbell rower. Like I said, 150 to 200 um, pound dumbbell rower, um, you know, incline presses, 125, 130, six to eight repetitions, pretty dang clean. Um, 275 I could probably, I, I don't go, I don't go over 275 on the barbell incline press. Um, but I can bang out reps, you know, six, eight rep sets real clean with that. Um, you know, again, not the strongest, not, not stand efforting, but at the same time, man, I, I, I can get in there with the best of them. Kettlebells, you get to a certain strength point to be fair. And kettlebells are a little more challenging. 
I am an absolute strength guy. That's really what I do enjoy. I, I, and that's my principle. I'm always looking to improve absolute strength while correcting imbalances and ensuring that we don't create, you know, uh, muscular imbalances and stru structural imbalances, mobility imbalances. Um, so I'll use kettlebells as an ancillary to my major workouts. I hope that makes sense. Um, Aslaya says, love the energy this dude exudes. Thank you for the comprehensive answer. You've earned a new ambitious follower. Click the motherfucking bell. Slaya, thank you. I appreciate that, my friend. And like I said, I respect you guys. Like, I understand. You can tell. You can tell that sleazebag that's trying to sell you a, a, a false um, bill of goods, right? You can tell that person. And hopefully you can tell someone who's honest, who's transparent, who's experienced, who is it produces results and who's in it for the right reasons. I'm in it for the right reasons. I'm not trying to put out some stylized BS video like Tom DeLauer is right now, evidently saying how fruit is bad for you because fruit contains fructose. Hey, Tom DeLauer, Clenbuterol and Winstrel and Trenbolone are pretty bad too, buddy. Wouldn't you say that? Why don't you do a video on that? Um, but you won't see videos like that come out. You won't see videos on, on all the dangers of the, the, the pharmaceuticals that many of the fitness YouTubers are taking. You'll hear them, you know, bastardize carbohydrates while they're selling their exclusionary restrictive fad dietary programs to monetize you. No, I'm not saying Tom does that, <laughs> but it's common in the industry. And Slaya, hopefully you, you, you understand what I'm doing here. And I think you guys do. That's why I appreciate you guys, everybody here on this channel. I appreciate you all um, for being here. Um, Ali says, is it true that when insulin is high in the body, you can't burn fat even though you are eating in a deficit? Well, there is truth to that. I will not say 100% that that is the absolute truth. But at the same time, we do understand as we discuss when we speak of lists, low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity while fasted. The major benefit of this is the fasting element, which means the lack of insulin. In the absence of insulin, we are much more capable of utilizing stored body fat as a fuel source when we are training within the aerobic threshold. A lot, a lot more questions. I'm trying to answer every question here. Every question. You guys keep asking more and more, which is awesome. Anthony Cruz says, you have a podcast. Yes, the Mike Dolce Show on iTunes, on Spotify, on Google Play. Make sure you subscribe to the Mike Dolce Show podcast. It, there's fire. I mean, there is... We got some great, great, great content on, on that podcast. I'm very proud of it. We are a top-rated podcast. We were number one on iTunes every so often uh, just to show you that the impact that we do have. Um, C. Bacon says, do you suggest slowly adding carbs back in before three weeks to shred it, coming off keto, or will it not be too much of a carb, blood sugar, insulin shock, and just jump in. Well, really, that depends on you, C. Bacon. I wouldn't follow a ketogenic diet. So if you are following a ketogenic diet, I would likely immediately reintroduce carbohydrates, you know, slowly, in time, efficiently digested carbohydrates. Makes sense. I'm a big fan of white rice for this exact reason. I wouldn't follow a ketogenic diet ever. That makes so it makes no sense. You want better effects, you won't follow a ketogenic diet, right? Because they don't have better effects. It's it's just the way it, it's the facts. So to be fair, I mean, I just wouldn't follow it at all. JS, oof, I've been called out for not subscribing to the podcast. You caught me. I'm gonna go do that now and hide my shame. To be fair, I don't have iTunes. Um, Spotify, we're on Spotify, we're on Google Play, we're on Stitcher, I believe iHeartRadio, pretty much anywhere and everywhere you can listen to a podcast, you will find the Mike Dolce show. Um Shrevi says, why can't we make this country logic again, reason again, science again? We failed our country in education, and now we're the laughing stock on an international scale. Shrevi, I'm going to share something with you. And I understand. I understand your frustration as I am frustrated. But I will tell you right now, and many of you are from other countries, and you will agree. 
the United States is not the laughing stock of the world. The United States is still the shining light in the world. I have traveled the world many times. I've lived in many places around the world on every continent outside of Antarctica. Okay. I will tell you and say to you with the utmost confidence, the United States is still the greatest country on the planet because of our ability to accept diversity, which we still have greater than any country. This is an experiment and it continues to be at just a little older than 200 or so years. Everywhere you go in the United States, you are surrounded by a wide variety of humans from all walks of life and backgrounds and cultures and goals and views and everything else. And we are still the greatest economy in the world. We have the greatest level of innovation in the world. And we have led the world. And I say this with the pride of a citizen of the country, but also a citizen of the planet. In that every country has great aspects that they lend to the culture, but there is not the, the disdain around the world for the United States. And in many ways, to be fair, there is still a massive jealousy about the freedoms and the privileges that we hold here in the United States, which are not capable in other areas. Right? So that's what I say. And that's, Take that for what it is. Yes, I'm a proud American. Of course I am. But also I'm a, I'm a world traveler and I've been around the world and I've understand and I've lived under different governments and different rule and different cultures. There is no greater freedom than you can experience in the United States. Um, Producer Dan, any chance you're going to make another workout series? Need something new. My gym is still closed. Road to 100K. Dan, I appreciate that. Thank you. We're working on something right now. I don't want to say something too soon um, and then not follow through with it. So I'm, I'm going to keep it a little quiet for right now. I will say, go and check out my 20-minute fitness network channel on YouTube. When the pandemic hit, I came out with four weeks of daily workouts for you guys. It's in the gym. It's raw. It's dirty. It's shot with my iPhone. I think it's produced pretty dang well for just a dude alone in the middle of a pandemic with an iPhone and like a, 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 a lav mic off of Amazon. The workouts are great and it's got really, really you know high reviews. So I would say check that out and it's totally free. You just want to change it up for some in-home training. Um, and then I teach you how to scale it. You can go from no weights to literal gallons of water to kettlebells to backpacks, you know, packed with, with book and books and things like that to a bunch more. Um, eighth Hoke, it says, could you get Chael Sonnen on your podcast? It is possible. It is possible. We will. We could ask Uncle Chael to come on. Um, Zach C says, please get Chael Sonnen on. Uh, we could get Chael, but I got to tell you, I'm a little embarrassed to ask Chael to come on my podcast because Chael's podcast is massive, massive. So it'd be more, more likely that I would do his podcast, his massive podcast, than, 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 than he come on to ours. Though, if the people ask for it, Uncle Chael, of course, is a man of the people and very likely he would come on. So let me let me reach out and see. Um. Slaya says, do you intend to use exogenous insulin without GH or are you referring to endogenous insulin after slamming carbs? Um, Slaya, you know more than you're letting on, my friend. Um, I believe she was talking about endogenous um, insulin after carbs or even just after a meal. Ian Nelson went from 240 to 197 using four weeks to shredded five times in a row, 10 to 15 pounds away from the goal. Thank you. Bam. Ian, man, I am so proud of you. 240 to 197. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian is down 43 pounds following our three weeks to shredded program. And he followed it multiple rounds, which you can certainly do at the Dolce diet.com. If you are a member, once you complete your first round of three weeks to shredded, you can start again. 
You can do it again. You can do your old program again, or you can reset a brand new program with your new body weight and continue on while keeping your body weight, your goal, and everything else, uh, which is awesome. So if you want it, go to the dolcediet.com. Use the promo code anti dad bod. One more day of that uh, to save 20%. If you're interested, Ian lost 43 pounds on three weeks of shredded. Brother, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. I'm Anthony Cruz's coach. Do you ever show up to the fitness expos at all? Um, I was actually going to be a, a speaker at the Arnold classic. I was going <laughs> to the pandemic 2020. I was going to the Arnold classic as a favored speaker and going to have dinner with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the pandemic wiped it away. So I don't do a lot of expos. I will say that. But when Arnold asks you to do his expo, you go to the expo and the freaking pandemic wiped it away. So it is what it is. Evan says, dumb question. How do you find out your maintenance calories? Evan, go and watch my video yesterday where I talk about protein deficiency. I give you the bonus of how to program your protein, carbs, and your fat. I talk about fiber, meal timing, spacing, and everything. That will be very well worth your time. Guys and gals, thank you for being here. Bang! Bang, give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. It lets me know you are there and it lets me know you care. So thank you for those thumbs up. Um, Jim and Suzanne Hubbard. Hey, what's up, guys? Need my man, Dr. Hightower, back on the podcast. Exactly. I had Dr. Bo Hightower, who I love. Bo is amazing, brilliant, cool, funny, uh, witty, all the great stuff. Uh, so yeah, Dr. Bo Hightower's done our podcast a few times. Big fan of Dr. Bo. Um, Anthony Cruz coach, you speak so highly of white rice. How much typically post-workout should we consume? I know it depends on the person, but for someone trying to cut specifically, I would start at approximately one third of a cup cooked and see how it goes from there. How do you feel? How do you look? How are you progressing? Less is more. Take your time, scale, analyze the data and make adjustments accordingly. Whoa. Scoy boy with the $50 super chat donation. Scoy boy, thank you. I really do appreciate that. The super chat donations certainly mean a lot to the channel. And Scoy boy says, hey, coach, I was wondering, what ratio do you recommend between cardio and strength training? What is a good way to combine the two? Scoy boy, great question. Let me break this down for you. You paid $50 for the answer, my friend. Let me go deep here with you. So when we talk about cardio, there's a few different ways to perform cardio. We can talk about cardiovascular fitness. We can talk about cardio respiratory fitness. We can also talk about the cardio impact of fat loss cardio impact of fat loss. Now, when we traditionally say cardio, we simply mean exercise to lose body fat. Treadmill, elliptical, stair stepper, rower, Peloton maybe, whatever it might be, Jacob's ladder, uh, battle ropes, what have you. So when walking, when people talk about cardio and Scoy Boy, I'm assuming that's what you mean because this is what you're talking about cardio and strength training, which is really the fat loss side and then the strength training side. What we recommend here at the Dolce Diet and Fitness is early morning fasted lists, which is low intensity, steady state cardiovascular activity in the absence of insulin. This means you wake up, you drink 16 ounces of room temperature water, you drop a, a super rich double shot of espresso to get that caffeine hit. You put on your shoes. You walk out your front door 15 minutes, one direction. You turn around and come home. You walk. The next day, you go 16 minutes and 17 minutes. Turn around, come home. So it's 30 minutes, 32 minutes, 34 minutes. You build that up to 60 minutes. You maintain the training inside the aerobic threshold where you never step out. Okay? Why is that? Because low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity has a dramatic carryover to the, the vascular respiratory system, the cardio system, right? But at the low intensity, we can more efficiently utilize stored body fat as the primary fuel source. While fasted, we have an 
even greater level of efficiency for the more stubborn body fat cells that we all have primarily characterized as gender specific body fat. That's that the, the, the lower belly, like, you know, just under your belly button, a little donut area, the little bit of muffin top hanging over um, your pockets, like on your hip, on your waistband, the back of the triceps, and the kind of the bra fat primarily for the ladies or the saddlebags. Guys, is that, 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 you know, fat nip, that little extra kind of fat around your boob that's just really hard to get off. Each person has a different proportion of these gender-specific, stubborn, fat storage sites. Performing lists while fasted has a much greater ability for those fat cells to work as well as the other non-stubborn cells, right? So we hit that. Also, when we're training, our, our strength training should be performed anywhere between three and six days per week on average. Now, I love the full body Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, bang, 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 every other day full body. That works great. I also love the push-pull. Push muscles Mondays and Thursdays, pull muscles Tuesdays and Fridays, a little GPP, general physical preparedness, on Wednesday and Saturday. Also, I love the push-pull legs. Upper body push on Monday, upper body pull on Tuesday, lower body squat centric on Wednesday. Repeat, you can go push-pull legs off, push-pull legs off, or many people, and I've seen the most benefit of push-pull legs, push-pull legs off to run that. Now, we're hitting the low-intensity, steady-state cardiovascular activity in the morning, Scoy Boy. A minimum of four days per week. Four days per week, it would be the minimum to see the maximum benefits. I would prefer to see those five, that five to six days a week, but you can scale that over a six, 12 week period, four days a week for the first six weeks or so. And then you can add to the fifth day and then you can add the sixth day. So 12 weeks in now you're doing it six days a week. You can also do the four mornings, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, let's say of the list. And then you can add 20 to 40 minutes of post resistance training cardio. Elliptical. I'm a big fan of the elliptical, actually. Easier on the knees, easier on the hips. Um, it's a nice way to kind of coast without the same force compression some of the other exercise modalities um, would create. Do what you ever want to do. But why do we perform cardio after strength training? Because the, the concept would be during our strength training, we've purged the majority of our stored glycogen thus forcing the body to utilize more of that stored body fat while having a very similar total caloric expenditure, which means if I'm walking for 30 minutes, I'm going to burn, I don't know, 400 calories, let's say, whether it's fasted or not, whether I, I'm using glycogen or not, it's going to be about 40, 400 calories, let's say, right? For the sake of argument here. If I can do that with less stored glycogen to nearly zero stored glycogen, I will be utilizing a greater level of stored body fat. Again, that's what we're going to be looking for. So Scoy Boy, I hope that's helpful. Uh, I really appreciate you being here and being a part of the channel. The $50 super chat donation is greatly appreciated. It certainly means a lot. Of course, I, I will never forget your name and I'm always here. I'm always here. If you need something pro tip, what happens? The wife calls. Hello, wife. <laughs> Ooh, love her. Um, I am doing a live YouTube uh, Q&A right now, so everyone's listening to you. Can I call you back? I'll call, <laughs> I'll call you back. All right, bye. Pro tip. When your significant other calls, no matter what you're doing in life, pause what you're doing respectfully and answer the call. You never know what is going on in their world. What could be happening Answer the call when it comes in. You're not doing anything more important than just doing what I just did. Is anybody here upset that I took that call? 
No, because you guys are awesome. Nobody will be upset if the phone rings. Excuse me one sec. My, my wife calling. Hey, what's up, baby? Ha ha ha. Call you right back. Bang. All's good in her world. There we go. Always be there for the people who love you and the people that you love. You never know what that call will be. So always answer that call, my friends. A little pro tip from Uncle Mike, by the way. So Scoy Boy, thank you for being here, my friend. I appreciate you. Marcel says, if you, Mike, about yesterday's video, how can I make a breakfast with 40 plus grams of protein without supplements? My breakfast bowl has about 20 grams of protein and 40 grams seems impossible. Well, it depends on what you're putting in. Now you can simply have the 20 grams of protein and you can slowly cheat an extra five grams of protein into your next four meals to make up the 20. Like I would say, like if you're, if you're that stringent and this is, this is the time that we would recommend a supplemental grass fed whey protein isolate. When you are already at that perfect, that eight type phase, when you need to squeeze in a few more grams of protein to get those 20 beautiful amino acids into your bloodstream, but you do not want to crash into a caloric surplus by consuming too many more foods because your diet's already on point. Where can I get the extra 20 grams of protein? This is where a whey protein isolate becomes helpful. And usually we would stack that. And what I typically do in these eight type phases, I'll go out, I'll hit my list, I'll crush my list, I'll come home, I'll bang 20 grams of a whey isolate, I'll take a shower, wash off, go upstairs, I'll make my breakfast bowl. So then I have my breakfast bowl similar to you. My breakfast bowl is about 75 grams of carbohydrates and about 25 grams of protein. I'll throw in the 20 grams of protein in the whey isolate. 20 minutes, 30 minutes before I sit down in my breakfast bowl, within the last half hour, I've gotten my 40 plus grams of protein from, you know, a multitude of sources, all my carbs, all my fiber, all my phytonutrients, micros, all packed in there. That's what I would suggest, uh, Marcel, but also you can spread it a little bit more throughout the day. You will be fine. As long as you're spreading it evenly throughout the day, it all works, my friend. Ali says, who is your favorite fighter in the UFC right now? Well, that's, a challenge. So I will, I don't often answer these, but being that I'm here for an hour and 32 minutes um, and getting a little punchy, John Jones, in my opinion, is the greatest martial arts of all time, martial artist of all time. I don't know of any fighter who's better than John Jones, and there is no fighter with a better resume than John Jones. Khabib Nurmagomedov is high on the list, but when you look at who Khabib fought, versus who John Jones fought, the quality of competitor that John had to defeat in order to be where he is in his career is a higher level than Khabib's. But that's not Khabib's fault. Khabib just didn't have that many amazing legendary contenders standing in his way as he ran through the, the division, right? So keeping that in mind, I would say John Jones, and I hope he comes back soon. Um, the eighth hook, it says, is Dolce still going? Damn. And all this is free. Wow. Yes, I am still here. I am still going. And this information is all 100% free. My friends, I am, I am honored that you spend this time with me. I love to devote this time to helping as many of you as I can with whatever information I can. And I just, I thank you all for being here. The only thing I ask you, bang, bang. Give this video a thumbs up once again so we can hopefully entice those the YouTube um, overlords to recommend this channel, to help the channel grow. The goal is to get 100,000 subscribers, and that will only be as a result of you amazing people out there helping this channel to grow. That's all I ask of you. And if you don't do it, that's fine. I'm going to be here tomorrow sharing the same free information with you anyway. And uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm happy to be here. So thank you. Um, and last question, Anthony says, coach, how do you feel about a lot of these bodybuilders casually talking about their steroid use and some even go out of their way and explain their exact cycle? I think it's very dangerous. Well, you know, Anthony, that's actually a great comment and question. I appreciate the bodybuilders who tell the truth. So they do not set unrealistic expectations at the same time. I understand that the majority of bodybuilders speak about their drug use in a manner that promotes it 
to the youth, to young men who are primarily insecure, as I was as a young man coming up, a, a little boy in a gorilla suit, as they say, we're training hard, we're being tough and grizzled and doing all the things because we have insecurities in some way, shape of life. I want to look better, be bigger, be stronger, be fitter, um, get the girls, scare the guys, be intimidating, win the trophy, like whatever it might be, right? So we're on that, that, that grind and we're more susceptible to the influence of those we look up to. And many of the bodybuilders speak about their drug use in a bravado with the bravado that is, um, I don't want to say unprofessional, but it's, it's immoral. Maybe that, that might be a little too harsh, but I don't think so. Cause there's lots of kids out there who really hurt themselves taking a lot of the drug stacks that these bodybuilders do. But at the same time, I do appreciate that the bodybuilders let people know. Those who do let people know that they're, they're taking drugs. They're not pretending like many others um, that they're drug free. So it's a bit of a catch-22. I think the way that they go about it certainly should matter. Um, Anthony says, got a workout in while listening to this awesome show. Anthony, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Glad to be a, a partner in your workout. Um, Christian says, Dolce, is Romero or Costa's body attainable by most people? Should guys chase their bodies or are they genetically gifted and should it be looked at as normally attainable? So are their bodies naturally attainable? Absolutely they are, but not for most of us because they are genetic superiors. Whether they're on drugs or not, I don't know. I think Romero got in trouble for drugs, so we might have to. I have to add that asterisk to his name at the very least, though it was a tainted supplement, they say, and maybe that's true. Um, yes, I know people who look better than Costa and Romero, believe it or not. Very rare, but I have some buddies who look like that who eat terribly. Their genetics, they have supreme genetics. Supreme genetics. And unfortunately, most of them waste their genetics. And that's a sad thing to see. Um, so it is possible. But no, I would not chase those bodies. I would simply chase improvement of your own body and setting goals for yourself. That's the most important thing, my friends, is we always compete against ourselves. Draw inspiration from those around us, but only compete against yourself. Guys and gals, with that being said, an hour and 37 minutes into this video, I appreciate you all for being here. Go back and watch the first 10 minutes of this to get the advanced fat loss hack that I dropped in the beginning. Bang! Bang, leave a thumbs up for this video. I appreciate that. It lets the YouTube overlords know that you appreciate this content. So thank you in advance uh, for doing me that honor. Leave any questions or comments below if I was unclear on something, which I can be sometimes. I get passionate. I talk really fast. Maybe I skip over some things because I it makes sense in my mind, but maybe I didn't clarify it enough for you. Leave a comment below, please. I, you know, I'm happy to jump in there, answer your, your, your comment um, in the actual feed, or I might even do a video. Many of the videos that I do are based upon your comments that you leave uh, down below. So thank you uh, for that. I'm always happy to answer those. And anything else, I think that's it. The Dolce Diet.com for those who want it. Today's the last day of the 20% anti dad bod discount. All one word anti dad bod. You'll save 20% on our four week or 12 week personalized diet and exercise programs. And, and you luckily, Exactly what I talk about, that fat loss hack, is built into our Three Weeks to Shredded program. Most people didn't even realize it, but now you understand the science behind it, um, which is super cool. So you can just see how all the science that's out there really does blend its way into our system. You guys are awesome. You're amazing. Thank you all for being here. The Mike Dolce Show podcast on iTunes, Dr. Andy Galpin, Dr. Bo Hightower, Dr. Corey Peacock, Tony Ricci, Tyler Mitten. Um, who else? The the uh, the Leia on it, or Eric and, and Juan Leha from you know from on it. Um, who else? So many more, and we got so many more coming through. Uh, lots of great stuff. I appreciate you guys once again. Till next time, boom.